Enjoying the new month, we are already in the month of August, and this month is the third. We're in the third day of August. If you don't know, <laughs> today is Saturday. Um, we thank God for for His faithfulness over us over the course of the month gone, especially the month of July. It's by the grace of God that we see today, which is the third in the month of. August. God has been so faithful to you and God has been so faithful to me as well. This um, morning, I just want to drop a few little things there um, about factors to consider before we get into marriage. And one of the factors that you have to consider, you know, I started this series last week, but I think it was too long, so I couldn't post it on the um, YouTube because it was a bit too long. Too, too, too long. So I'm just going to shut it down and cut it off. And if you really want to watch it, I have um, the long, the long version of it. I have a Facebook called um, Youth and Single Views on Facebook, a group. So I have the long one, almost like one hour. There you could go there and check if you really want to really want to watch what it's all about. But well, I, I just think of putting this together and putting it on page. You know, I say resilience. One of the factors that has brought many people down is marriage. Marriage, you know, and some people are being abused. They enter into a, a marriage, a, a marriage that has cost them a lot. You know, abuse emotionally, physically, psychologically, and any sort of abuse that you can talk about. So that brought on this this um this video because I have some youth asking me question about marriage, and I want to put it down here like marriage is not perfect. Marriage, everybody have the hopes and down in marriage because two people that come from different background actually come together to get married. Even the marriage that are so perfect, they still have a little bit of each. And there's a book I read some time ago that says, The rich also cry. So I haven't said that. I just want to mention three three um, factors that can actually affect that you have to think about before you're getting married. If you're a boy, or sorry, if you're a man or a young man or a young woman, and then you are in the tender age of getting married, you need to consider a few things before you go into marriage at all because they're very, very essential. First, I mentioned in my the, the video, I, I mean, the live Facebook that I did the last day, I think one week ago, I mentioned in there that before you get to marriage, you have to know your own personality. That's your, your first step in there. Do you actually know yourself? Because when you know yourself, will determine who you are going to get married. So you'll be able to know what you can bear, what you can take on board. Okay, anybody that are anyone that can compliment you, compliment your personality is who you should get married to. Someone that can compliment your personality, you should get married to. We all have different, different personalities and you need to know who you are. You need to know if you're introvert or you're extrovert. You need to know if you are going or indoor person. You need to know a lot about your personalities. And you can actually get to know about yourself. You could go online. Or thank God for Google. Thank God for uh, social media. Thank God for technology. Now at this, you could go online and learn about yourself. Learn about your personality online, you know, personality traits, kids, take tests. So that would determine, there's some tests that you can actually take that after you finish up the test or you have to pay some money, they're going to tell you whom your life partner or somebody you can marry to with your personality, they can actually lead you in that direction as well. 
as well, which is very, very important that you consider your personality before you think of going into any marriage at all. So to say, so many asses that are going on nowadays in marriage, to say just so, I have so many young people that they want to get married because they see what happened with their parents. They see what's going on, you know, around them, around friends, and all sorts as well. They don't want to get married. Or you can actually stop yourself from going through a lot of sex as well by knowing your personality. And that's, I would say, that should be your first, your, your, your first um, stepping point. You need to actually get to know who you you are going to your starting point rather that should be your starting point you need to know who you want to get married to you need to know who yourself is it's when you know yourself that you'll be able to know who you want to get married to and now you can help yourself you know in the marriage okay you need you need to know your personality and then again thing that one another thing another factor to consider before you go into any marriage is your background background is very very important okay background has proved to, uh, statistically to be the, the, the one of the highest ways of rates of uh, declining in marriage that has got so many marriage to be to 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 fall to fail you know background is very very important and you need to see personality and background are actually interwoven you cannot take the one out of order you need to know your personality you need to know your background you need to know the background of who you are going to marry because it's very very important either a boy or if sorry that if a man or a girl or a woman and you are tending to get into marriage make sure you know the background that you are going to get into marriage into in, in, into marriage too and knowing the background that doesn't mean that if somebody is coming from a very rough background that you can still not get married if your personality are the same but you need to work on that background you need to enter into that marriage you know when knowledgeable you have to know about the background you have to deal with it to some extent before you get into marriage you have to identify this you have to identify you need to work on them if you need to work on the personality before you go into by into into background before you go into marriage say you're coming from a one man and woman background or your a nuclear background a nuclear family background is where you your mom and your daddy and your you and your siblings grow together and if you're entering into a background whereby they are fully almost family whereby they have many to, like from if you're talking from my culture where i come from in i'm from nigeria it's allowed the culture allowed if you're Muslim, to marry as many wives as possible. If you're Christian, you the Bible says you marry one man or one woman. But that doesn't still mean we still have some Christians that marry more than one or two wives. The the the, the community, a community allows that to have marry more than one or two wives, depending on your religion. So you need to know all these things before you get into marriage, because obviously somebody that married and from polygamous family, the background is quite different from someone that married from from nuclear family. And that kind of background is going to clash. I will use myself as an example here. I am from a nuclear family, whereby it's my mom and dad, and then my husband is from a polygamous family. Growing up with my parents, I actually stayed with them for a few while. I think I actually come out to get married at the age of 27, but I have no, I, I, know, I have no idea. I am so naive that I don't, I have no idea that husband and wife do fight because my mom and dad never fought. Even if they fight, we don't get to know. If they get if they are angry, are angry with each other or have an argument, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. I've never seen them raising voice on each other. Never. Never, never. Or call themselves name. So I never enter into... So I enter into marriage with that, with that, with that notion, without mindset. 
I don't know that husband and wife they do fight until I get into marriage and I see a lot coming up my way that it was very difficult for me to be able to handle initially in the marriage. It was very, very difficult for me, name calling and all sorts and all sorts. And that's one thing you need to consider, your background. Some people come from a abuse background. Some people come from, you know, a, 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 an humble background. People come from a rich, a noble background. All this has to put into consideration before you consider going into marriage because this is going to come up in the marriage. And I do advise the young people getting into marriage that if you survive the first year to six first to six years of your marriage you can survive it if it is not spiritual in incline or spiritual attack is being in place the first six years of marriage is always very tough because you're getting to know each other the background is going to be on your face both of you and you need to know how to handle this background before anything is if you cannot if you're not if you if you cannot handle, handle, I mean um, handle the background, you know, even before you get to marry, get it to know each other and please do not lie to each other. Don't, 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 don't bottle up. They said, um, marriage is an eye opener, you know, don't let your marriage be an eye opener. Open to each other when you're still in courtship. It will go so long, it will save you so many hazards at the end of the day. And you can, that will determine if your marriage your home is going to be a home or a house. Home is peaceful, house is a house of common, whereby a lot of things happen in the marriage. Please make sure that this is not affecting you, that you deal with the background, get to know it, identify it, deal with it before you, to some extent, to some extent, and see that both of you are working on it before you decide to go into marriage. That is one. And the last one that I want to mention here, I, I'm still going to continue on. The last one I want to mention is vision. Before you go into any marriage, you have to believe. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah 1 5 that God predestined you and me okay, I, before we enter into our parents' home for a purpose. We are coming into this world for a purpose. And we need to understand this purpose why God has brought you into this world. Do not enter into any marriage that has no vision. Don't enter. You need to sit down and ask each other, do you have where you're going? Do I have where I'm going? You need to know all this. Just give me one minute, please. I'm coming back. Let's go to this. Sorry about that, the water is just making noise. You need to know where you're coming from. You need to know your background before you enter into oh, sorry. You need to know if your partner has vision. Don't enter into visionless marriage. It ruins life, it ruins personality, it ruins your unborn children, it ruins generation that are tied to you in the future. Be sure that you enter into marriage knowing what you want to achieve, knowing the purpose, because that marriage you come into is for a purpose. There's a vision around that purpose, around the, around around your marriage. That has to be realized. You need to understand all this before you enter into any marriage at all. Don't let anybody disturb. Don't be carried away with love. Because at times what we call love is lost. It is when you get into the marriage that you realize so many things when it comes to love. So you need to enter into marriage knowing, you know, that if your bash, if your if your um your partner does he have does he have um a vision? Are you does he have any vision or you have a vision? So your partner, if you are a man, you must have a vision before you go into a marriage. And you must ask your wife what is her vision because your wife must must realize a vision under your own vision. The same thing if you're a woman, ask that man if he has a vision. Because if that man is doesn't have any vision, it's going to affect whatever you have inside of you that you want to bring out. Because a visionless person is clueless about life. They just take one day at a time. They don't know where they are going. 
they don't have they don't have break they don't have stop they just going to just taking a day as it comes and even though it's good to take a day as it comes some way to some accent but when it comes to marriage you need to think right you need to think that save yourself as us save this generation of failure their marriage um failures in marriage save this generation save your unborn children save yourself you, you deserve the better because the word of god says in the book of psalm 139 that you are wonderfully and marvelously made don't let anything stop you from realizing who you are and where god is taking you i'm going to stop there okay and i'm going to come back but it's enough for us to, to digest to think about before we enter into any marriage if you enter into marriage at all think about this passion that the factors that are mentioned you know and get ready until you hear my voice again because i'm going to continue on all this passion until you hear my voice again this is nikki or nikki's thought nikki additional by name and until you hear my voice again bye for now god bless you love you all